So. Do you remember her name? I want to say Brandy or Sherry. It's definitely a type of alcohol. I do know that. What's around not having a girlfriend for five years? You know, you're, you're, good, you're a good looking guy. Well, thank you. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I recognize that I'm a good looking person. Um, but yet I see a lot of, you know, less attractive people getting a lot, of, you know, and maybe, it, maybe it's a, a confidence issue. Maybe it's not, you know, maybe because it's been so long that I don't, hold myself to as high the standard. That was one, so tell us about a couple of those. Okay. Recent. Uh, Mary. Going to Mary. Uh, she was a financier. You know, um, cute girl. Uh, she's kind of quiet. You know, like one of those librarian ones with the with the glasses and everything like that. She was one of those good women. You, you can like, you know, do what you want. Like, not like your girl. She was like the opposite of your girl. <laughs> you know? Think about your girl. Yeah. She was, she was not her. Um, nice girl though, uh, and uh, very brainy, book smart, uh, but not really street wise. Yeah. So she didn't really know. So I'd, I'd take her out, and she'd uh, and she wouldn't know how to order, you know, okay. food. And and this is a girl coming from money, right? Because she works in finance. She just didn't get it, you know. She just didn't get the whole routine. She she wasn't very clean. I guess. And not what you're thinking, you fucking dirty bastards. No, like, you know, her toes. Okay. Like, she didn't have nice toes. Uh, you know, I, you know, I, I think that's important. You know, yeah. I go, like, you know, once a week and get the, the mani, the petty done. And, uh, you know, I think it's a really important thing. My appetite is, like, voracious. And I can't help it. I have all these impulses. It's come to a point where I am so, where I need it so bad that I've become a stealthy masturbator. Like, what are we, what are we talking like about? I used to do this in middle school. Everyone jacks off. Public bathroom stalls are my best friend. I walked around with an erection for 20 hours out of the day for the next five years. I was rocking the up and tuck for a good solid five years. And I would, I would rub one out in class. One day where I jacked off 17 times. I was sitting in the front seat and none of y'all motherfuckers knew. Wait, you jacked off and we drove up my, on my fucking birthday with me and my in the back seat? So nice. That's disgusting, you say, Tanya. Uh, she, was, she was nice. Um, now she had some what, acne problem that, you know, and I, I thought we, we went out long enough where it was like one of those major holidays, Valentine's Day or Christmas or... Maybe your birthday. I don't know. I got her one of those little Accutane jar things. I thought it'd be a nice gift. She didn't really take it that well, though. But, you know, she needed it. <laughs> Let's face it. You know, her face needs to face it. Um, wow. You look good. Thank you. This is... I've been, I'm in the best shape now I've ever been. I need to look good for her on a day-to-day -day basis. What does that mean, you look good? For me, I need people to see me and say, she's lucky to be with him. And when, I, when I'm when with her now, that's honestly what I believe. I believe that all of you would be jealous if you saw me with her. Last one that just happened uh, was a girl named Joanne. Joanne. Um, was it really Joanne? Yep, Joanne. I met her at the gym, working on the treadmill thing. She, she needed it, you know. <laughs> oh. she's, a little bit bigger of a girl, but um, I mean, a nice face, pretty face, and uh, you know I asked her out and, and uh, took her, took her out to a nice, nice dinner. She loved it. She ate a lot of sushi, <laughs> so she was pretty happy. And uh, we went back, you know, showed her the house, and uh, I was a gentleman. I uh, fucked her. <laughs> no, uh, no, I did fuck her. But no, and uh, you know, took her home, and we went out, out a couple times after that, and it, you know, it just didn't really work out, didn't really click. She was in that kind of frame of mind. Oh, you gonna take me home tonight? Oh, down beside.
beside that red firelight. Oh, you're gonna let it all hang out. Fat bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go round. Women who want to get with me, I'm disgusted by that. I need someone who literally hates my guts. Do you love bigger women? Like no. Big chested or Shit. big asses? The bigger the better. You know, if I can find a woman that natural, of course. I'm I don't believe in fake things at all. I'm a very real person. Change. I love a woman that has any, you know, cut marks on her from any doctor. <laughs>